Goal planning 2020. How do you make the most out of the next 10 years? How do you make sure that you succeed? Well, we know that people that write down goals and set goals are twice as likely to succeed as people that don't. So it obviously makes sense to improve the odds by that simple process of working out what your real goals are. For me, it's about taking a plain piece of paper and literally brainstorming, asking myself great questions. If I couldn't fail, what would I attempt? What do I really want to achieve over the next five years? Someone gave me $10 million. What would I do? Good questions. Ask yourself those questions. And when you ask yourself those questions, it enables you to get your thoughts out of what you really would like to achieve in life. Three sections for me. One, business. Two, uh, health or fitness. And thirdly, personal goals. Set all three for yourself. Don't just limit yourself to one goal. Fitness goals are easy perhaps to set but make sure that you do set them. They're an important part of life. If you don't have your fitness, you can't achieve your business or your personal goals. Then set personal goals, that's development. What do you wanna achieve for yourself? What about business? Where do you wanna go? Do you wanna be in the same job? Or perhaps would you like to develop yourself? You may have passed an exam or a degree five years, 10 years ago, 20 years ago. Don't think the world's not gonna change in the next 10 years. You need to constantly be developing yourself. That's personal and from a business point of view. Once you've set your goals, Put them in an order of importance. What one really counts for you? Preferably set yourself deadlines. You see, we know from football or rugby or any other sport that when a deadline's approaching, then there's more goals likely to be achieved. We know in life that if you set deadlines, then as the deadline approaches, then of course you push harder to make sure you achieve it. Deadlines are so important. Also make sure you build your belief. Break down the goal into baby steps. Success by the inch is a cinch. By the yard, it's hard. Make sure you break it down so you build belief that you can do it. And most important of all, never give up. Never give up on a goal. If it's worth having, it's worth fighting for. And that means that you need persistence. There's never been a goal that was worth having where you didn't need to have persistence. So make sure that you visualize your goal and you realize that you must never, ever give up. Goal setting is certainly super important. Okay, let's make sure that we all take the maximum advantage of the next 10 years, the next decade, 2020. Fantastic. Let's make sure that we maximize it. Please subscribe to this YouTube channel. I'm going to constantly try and put out good content so that it keeps people motivated, gives personal growth, but also ideas from successful people and what they do to achieve in life, as well as ideas on what's happening in the financial market. Because again, that gives up opportunities for you to use your money, maximize it, and to make sure it's being as effective as possible. Please subscribe, please like, please share the video, and it helps me put out more great content. Thanks for listening.